interesting development came out yesterday with, in the war with Russia, and this article is from Fox News. I will put a link to the article in the description box below. But it's entitled, International Criminal Court Issues Putin Arrest Warrant Over Child Deportations from Ukraine. Russia responds that the ICC arrest warrant for Putin has no meaning in our country. The International Criminal Court, or ICC, has issued an arrest warrant for Russian President Vladimir Putin, citing his alleged involvement in the abduction of Ukrainian children. The warrant was also issued Friday for Maria Alexevina Lvova Belova. I'm totally going to demolish that name. Commissioner for Children's Rights in the Office of the President of the Russian Federation, after the ICC declared that there are reasonable grounds to believe that each suspect bears responsibility for the war crime of unlawful deportation of population and that of unlawful transfer of population from occupied areas of the Ukraine to the Russian Federation and prejudice of Ukrainian children. The U.S. is not a member of the ICC and neither assists or acknowledges the authority of the judicial body. The ICC wrote that Putin is allegedly responsible for the war crime of unlawful deportation of population, children, and that of unlawful transfer of population, children, from occupied areas of the Ukraine to the Russian Federation. I personally had no idea that this was going on. Russian Ministry of Foreign Affairs spokeswoman Maria Zakovora brushed off the arrest warrant, saying the decisions of the International Criminal Court have no meaning for our country, including from a legal point of view. Russia is not a party to the Rome Statute of the International Criminal Court and does not bear obligations under it. She said, Russia does not cooperate with this body and possible recipes for arrest coming from the International Court of Justice will be legally null and void for us. Ukraine's General Pr Prosecutor Andrei Kostin chaired the decision. Now, if Putin leaves Russia, he would be arrested and surrendered to the ICC, Kostin said. World leaders will think twice before shaking his hand or sitting with Putin at the negotiating table. It's another clear signal to the world that the Russian regime is criminal. While the court was established as an international judicial body with the signing of the Rome Treaty of 1998, the ICC began actual operations in 2002 based in the Hague, Netherlands. To date, 123 countries have ratified the treaty and approved the authority of the court in international prosecution. The court's function is to prosecute perpetrators of the worst crimes, including genocide, crimes against humanity, and war crimes. It has global jurisdiction and is and it's intended as a last resort while national governments are unable or outright refuse to prosecute. Last year, the ICC announced it had launched the largest single-field investigation since its inception 20 years ago into war crimes committed during the Russia's deadly war in Ukraine. A team of 42 investigators, forensic experts, and support personnel have been sent to the Ukraine to provide support to authorities investigating war crimes. Now, I know the U.S. is not part of the ICC. I don't think that we really recognize it. And so we're not going to take part in this. And I'm just wondering if this is actually sustainable, if it's real, or if it's more of a symbolic thing. I mean... I'm not sure how well this will hold up if he does leave the U if he does leave Russia and I'm not sure if China is involved in this either which I'm probably not but it says the US is is not a member of the ICC and neither assists or acknowledges the authority of the judicial body so we're probably just going to stay neutral on this one 
But it is an interesting development, and nonetheless, I will keep an eye on it and see if this leads anywhere. Until then, y'all have a good day.